Welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue adding fields to our content types. We uh, started to do this on the jobs available posting with um, some basic ones like you know job location, job type. Uh, job type in this case was a taxonomy term, which we went over earlier, and it had a few options like part-time, full-time, temporary, what have you. Um, we're, let's add another field in here. Um, let's call it job requirements okay and again following the naming convention so I don't get confused later and for the job requirements they're going to call that a long text because we want to give the companies a field where they can be really open-ended and you know list out whatever the requirements of the job is going to be and then it asks me uh, only have one option here text area multiple rows yes I want that and it naturally takes us into the next page to configure it more. This uh, particular field, we don't have uh, particular field settings here. But then we have the title again if we want to give some help text, which we will. Okay, uh, number of rows. This just kind of dictates how big it's going to be. Um, and plain text or filtered text, meaning do you want to allow your users to have the ability to use the WYSIWYG editor or to use any uh, HTML or other type of styling? Um, let's go ahead and choose that simply because in the requirements the company may want to have the ability to make bullets or make numbers or bold things to stress you know, certain requirements. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll give a default value of, uh, well, no, we'll leave this blank um, just in case for whatever reason this field wouldn't be filled out. Um, number of values, again, uh, we're going to have one uh, piece of information for the requirements per job, so we'll just leave this as one, and then we'll hit Save Settings. And that was fairly simple. Job requirements goes right there. We've got another tab open which I get to this by going to add content, jobs available posting, and basically we're building our form here. So here's the title, here's the description, there's the location, there's the job type, and there's the new box I just created for job requirements, which is this field here. So let's see, we've got title, description, location, type, requirements. Uh, I have another taxonomy term uh, called remote. Um, just call this remote allowed and obviously there is a limit to how many characters you can put in this machine readable name if you go too far it will bark at you and not allow you to save the field but this was actually a taxonomy term, so I'm going to turn, uh, choose another term reference. In the last video, we went over how to add a term reference. Um, in the video before that, we went over adding uh, vocabularies and terms, so we have this ability. Um, this, again, is going to ask us how do you want to display the field to the user to choose the right term. In this case, I want it to be a select list. I'm going to hit Save. And it's asking us, which vocabulary do you want to display here? In this case, it's the remote vocabulary. And we'll say, specify whether or not remote work is allowed. Because obviously with developers, uh, anywhere there's an internet connection, typically they can work there, and obviously some development companies allow for this and so this is what this question is addressing does the company allow for remote work or not um, if we want to assign a default value like uh, you know by default it's no but the employer has to choose yes that's what this is for we'll leave this as none okay and number of values um, obviously this needs to be one it logically can't be yes no <laughs> um, so we'll leave that at one vocabulary is remote we'll save the field settings We go remote allowed okay and I'm going to go to the other tab and just refresh this form we're building for the jobs available posting and 
and if we scroll down, there it is, remote allowed, yes or no. Now you're probably asking, uh, you know, how can I move these around? Maybe I want these uh, selections near the top and I want these near the bottom. In this case, uh, you can just go to your content type fields and move these fields around to where you want them. Um, we'll go ahead and put title. Is it remote allowed? Well, let's put job type over that. We'll put job location under remote allowed question, then job description and job requirements. And I think that's pretty much it to get a basic jobs available posting. Okay. So let me go to my other page here. Uh, we hit add content. Let's just make a, a uh, fake jobs available ad. And we'll say job for, or we'll just call this, uh, we'll call this job an awesome sauce analyst. Awesome sauce analyst needed. Job type is part time. The remote allowed. Sure. He can work wherever he wants. The job location, however, is located. Uh, we'll just say Now you'll notice how these fields changed around because I changed them here. Okay? In the content type field listing. Um, job description would go here. Uh, pretend a lot more description exists. And job requirements. Uh, obviously, to be an awesome sauce analyst, you must be awesome. And then we're going to save the page. Once we save the page, you'll notice, however, that the fields are not in this order. So title, type, allowed, location, description, requirements. Instead, it looks like we've got the title, we've got description, and we've got location under that. So what should come after title is job type, um, which is down here, job type part-time, and it's kind of under the label. So here's how we fix all that. In the same area, un under the different tab I'm operating on, under structure, content types, job available posting, okay, where we were at manage fields, we're going to go into this manage display area, and you also have a tab up here. So you can get to it by going manage display or when you're in the content types menu, you can get there by clicking manage display. Same link, goes to the same place. And here is where I want, or where I can change this. So job type, you see where it says above and link? This is why we see the job title above the value and the value part time is a link, okay? Um, I want that to be in line. Uh, job requirements is the same way. See, it says job requirements. There's the label, and then it says job requirements must be awesome. Actually, I take that back. I do want that to stay above. Uh, remote allowed. You know, that's a little awkward. It's all down here, all by itself, lonesome. Um, and again, we have it above, and we have the selection as a link. Um, I would like to call this inline. And now I want to move them around. So I think that the job type, and I think the remote allowed question should go up to the top and then we have the location then we have the description and the requirements and I will save and let me refresh this page and you're going to notice how they all rearrange um, and behave as I told them to so again not the best looking thing we'll worry about styling it later but we have the title which is at the top um, and the title is assumed at the top. The next thing is job type. 
and here we have job type part time remote allowed remote allowed and then location and then job requirement location and then job requirement I guess I put no oh here we go job description here um, I would like for the job description to have a bold label in, above it so I, I can separate it from the map and you'll notice it doesn't have one because it's hidden so if I click above and save this under manage displays under the corresponding content type and I go back and reload you'll see this segregation so we go location description requirements so we will worry about styling this about how it looks about where it's laid out on the page we'll worry about how pretty it is later but right now we are only focusing on the guts the core concepts and the core functionality that your website's going to have to have otherwise without that um, there's going to be a lot of things that don't exist to style against so this is why I feel we need to be doing this first so I'm going to conclude the video with that um, this was just kind of adding in extra fields into the jobs available posting and it kind of went over showing you how you can arrange the manage fields which will arrange the fields on the content type entry form um, which basically arranges how the fields are laid out to the user that's inputting the data and under manage display is where we can address some very basic options on how we display that data to the user now we're going to get into uh, videos later where this idea of displaying data to users can be a very very deep rabbit hole uh, we've got a lot of tools out there one is views one are uh, is, is well, another is panels um, another is just using blocks which we'll get to later but uh, this is kind of some basic stuff and you uh, in the case of using panels you'll kind of see this idea again where it's uh, basically going to ignore this there's another tool that um, trumps these settings but you get the same kind of uh, concept of it's asking you what do you want to do with the label you want to hide it you want to show it above the value in line with the value what do you want to do do you want to rename it in some cases so uh, just keep in mind that at this point uh, how we display the content is going to come later and you're going to find that if you've done your homework correctly and you set your site up properly then uh, displaying that content uh, should be an easier task because again you've, you've, you've laid the foundation that you should have so um, as always if you can uh, subscribe because you like me that is great um, comments are always welcome and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me I will uh, answer as I can and when I can so thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video